our first guest tonight is an Emmy and Peabody Award-winning actress and comedian you know from movies such as Trainwreck and her show Inside Amy Schumer. Her latest series, Life and Beth, is streaming now on Hulu. Let's take a look. Do you have any pre-existing conditions? I'm a woman. A woman. Mm -hmm. uh, just a few more questions. I can just save you some time. I've had over 30,000 drinks. I don't really chew my food enough. And I took Plan B recently. Kind of got two uses out of it. Don't write that. Mm. I, I just meant, like, any injuries. Right. Please welcome back to the show our good friend Amy Schumer, everybody! Why? Just, I mean, not a big deal. Just that we're losing all of our rights. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, but whatever. What else is going on? Oh, um, yeah. No, but I'm wearing my bands off our bodies pin. And you were at a protest yesterday. I was at yes. a protest yesterday. Yeah, we really need everybody to be standing up right now. You've Men, been very, women, you've been everybody. Very good at that over there. Yeah. You've been very good at that over there. Yeah, I want to yeah. give credit. Sorry I cursed, but God, it's such a bummer. It is a. It is not a great time it's right now. It's not good. Can one thing that, um, well, I guess this is good. Uh, you are one of the people, one of the few I know, mm -hmm. who over the last uh, 26 months has not gotten COVID. I know. Oh. I You had COVID. I did. Yeah, I did. I haven't. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Has anybody else not had COVID yet? Yeah. Like how smug. Yeah. I don't know. God has a plan. I don't know. <laughs> He chooses Wait. the people he loves. I don't know. <laughs> That's what you think it is? Like. I don't know. I'm a little smug about it. Yeah. I haven't had it yet. Well, congratulations. So. Hey, he's looking out. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. You, um, I know uh, you've said this to me in the past. As the weather changes, you're very excited to, to go out, have drinks outside. Yes. I love drinking outside when it gets nice out. Uh -huh. Isn't that nice? Yep. You know? Uh, but then also when it's not nice out. Uh huh. Having a drink, isn't oh, that good? Yeah. Okay. You know, yeah, like, yeah, even yeah. it's like the kind of thing, like when it's it, it's like snowing out in New York, you want a little red wine. Yeah. Right? And then when it's spring and it's beautiful, you want that red wine, <laughs> you know? Right. So is that? That's so this is like, this is the kind of drinking I've been doing lately. Okay. okay. Just to give you sort of a frame of reference. Like I've been drinking so much, like last night is the only night I didn't drink and I drank. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Right. So even your, like, your, your break day. My nights off are on. You have, like, a little. Yeah. Like, have you ever been so hungover you just have to, like, leave town? <laughs> you're just, like, you don't even know where you're going. You're just kind of shaking, packing toiletries, <laughs> you know? No? Do you know? Is this, like, a blackout situation? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Usually after... A blackout. I don't black any out anymore. You don't. That's I fair. don't think. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, because you know it used to be cool to black out. It would be like I blacked out, and everyone's like, "You're the best," you know. But really, nothing good ever happens in a blackout. Like I've never woken up like, "What is this Pilates mat doing out?" You know. <laughs> oh my God! I posted a thoughtful James Baldwin quote. Like that's not. That's not really how it goes. Uh, we were both out very late. It was yes, very late we for me on Monday. Met Ball. Whoa! There model. You go. Is Met that a Hadid? I, this is a beautiful photo. I like, um, you could, You took a couple of really nice groupies oh, as well. Yeah, group, yeah. Group photos. Look at the Hadid sister right yeah. here. Look at that. Yeah. And there yes. she is there. Oh. I like that you showed, I can be with people who also have sunglasses and people who don't. And people who don't have sunglasses, I can still be with them as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's very nice. Look at these hags. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not a contest, but it is really. <laughs> but I am this winning one, you, it. Are you, you're going to frame this and call it Amy and Three Hags. Well, yeah. that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, there were a lot of, I mean, you know, uh, there were a lot of people who I think are, are most famous for their work on reality shows at the Met. Are you a fan of, of reality shows yourself? Oh, my God, am I ever. Of are course, you really? Of course, yes. I watch, like, every reality show. And it's hard, but I find the time. That's really great. Uh, like, have you been watching, um, has anybody watched Selling Sunset? 
that, uh, yes, okay. It's a, a realty, re <laughs> it's a realty reality show. Okay, gotcha. It's about realtors in uh -huh. LA and these women, they dress um, kind of like anime dinosaurs, you know, <laughs> like very crazy outfits. And, and they sell these huge multi-million dollar, and I'm just laughing thinking about if they ever tried to do that in New York, like a selling sunset, like selling Sty Town, you know? <laughs> Just the apartments for the same price would just be like a railroad with like a roommate, you know? <laughs> and the realtors wouldn't look like those, they'd be like, just begrudge, you know, just, oh, that's not officially on the market, you know? <laughs> just, you could never have a show like that here. <laughs> uh, this is a, a nice milestone, your son, Gene. Uh, yes. I've been lucky enough to, to cross paths with Gene over the years. He yeah, and I, I hang out in the same circles. The yeah. mm -hmm. Turning three. Turning three tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. My little baby. Gene. My little baby guy. Yes. Gene, uh, uh, where did the name Gene come from? Well, actually, um, Gene my, was my husband's mom's name. Her, his mom's name was Gene, and she died, which is sad. Mm -hmm. But to not have a mother in law? Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Was that a crowd pleaser? How did you God? think it would go? How did you think it would go? I thought people would. I thought people would be like, "Oh, that's kind of funny. She, she doesn't have a mother-in-law." I mean, but I guess you're right. I guess you know. I think we can all agree it would be better if she were alive. Yes, but, but since she's not. <laughs> no, but so we we wanted to honor her. We named our son Gene, and then as you know, um, my husband's last name is Fisher, so Gene Fisher, middle name, named him for David Tell. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, you know, a month in, I realized that I'd name my son Genital. Fisher. Yeah. Um, Took a full month. Jean Attell Fisher, yes. Yeah. Uh, so, that, yeah, take it in. Take all the time you yeah. need. It is a hard thing. Let it wash over you like yeah. it did me. They're basically living through, in a moment, what took you a full right, month. Right, a month. Yeah. One month. But it wasn't a vulnerable time at all when you're yeah. a new mom. Yeah. Uh, Right, you want to make sure you're doing everything perfect yep. as a new mom, and then 30 days in, it dawns on you. You just realize you've already, like, has anybody ever messed up to that level? Like, probably not. Uh, and but you changed so we it. changed it, yeah, and I hope it's better. We changed his middle name to Dingleberry Fist Crab. <laughs> is that better? Dingleberry, it, it, is that it, good? It weirdly is you better. Think it <laughs> <laughs> and now, this is about the age, introducing them uh, to Disney films, I would imagine? You know, we've been trying, uh -huh. but they're real problematic. Like, I'm sure you've seen, like, they have all the warnings now. <laughs> like, yes, there's, like, a, a title card on almost everything. <laughs> Just like, we're sorry! <laughs> you know, we're gonna still show it to you, but, um, because, you know, so I tried showing, I was really excited to show them Peter Pan, uh -huh. and we started, and then, like, you know, not too far in, there's, like, an Indian man in a headdress, like, oh, and I'm like, okay, no, this is not good. This is not good. Uh, and then all the women, it's like mostly just those mermaids in Peter Pan, they're topless and they're, they all speak in a whisper. Oh, Peter, oh, I'm so wet, I'm a mermaid. I don't, is that actual they, yes, dialogue? Yes, it's actual dialogue, check it, check it. I'm like, I don't want my son to see this, you know? So we watch Jungle Book, don't even try with that, and then, and so I'm like, let's scrub forward. I'm sure the newer ones are better. And sure. so we watched, um, we wanted to watch Tangled, which is about Rapunzel. Mm -hmm. And um, a couple spoilers are coming your way. But in Tangled, um, if, you, if she cuts her hair, it turns brown. <laughs> yeah. And that happens in the movie, OK? And then she has short brown hair. And even though she's hideous, the prince still finds a way to love her. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that a beautiful he message? He ends up with a girl who has short brown hair. Short, a the prince. deformity of brown <laughs> hair, yeah. It's just, it's tough, you know? These movies, and, and I love the Monsters, Inc. movies, but there's like no women, you know, it's like, yeah. everybody's gotta do better. Um, it's always so great to see you. Thank you so much for being here, yeah. you guys. That's Amy Schumer, Life and Beth. It's fantastic. It's streaming now on Hulu. We'll be right back with Jennifer Grey.